Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English reading and writing for grade 5. How are you my dear students? I hope you all will be fine. Today we are going to do our words meaning sentences and question answer for lesson number 3 of unit 5. The title of the lesson is Forest on Fire. The main text of the lesson we studied during our previous lecture. You will have all the exercises about our today's lecture from page number 90 to 94 in your English workshop book. And my dear students, today you are going to learn the meanings of words and how to use the words in sentences. Moreover, the comprehension task will also be carried out. First of all, we are going to do question answers. Here is your first question. Write about wildfires. Means the teacher is asking what are wildfires or what is the definition of wildfires. Please write the answer. The wildfires are a destructive force of nature. The wildfires are a destructive force of nature. My dear students, please be careful while you are, you are writing the answer. There should be no grammatical mistake or there should be no error about spellings. I will repeat the question and answer. Write about wildfires. The wildfires are a destructive force of nature. Question number two, what are the benefits of naturally occurring wildfires? Means any wildfires that are taking place are occurring naturally and not because of any human factor. So what are the positive impacts or what are the positive points or advantages or benefits of those wildfires? There are some good things in wildfires as well. Okay. So now here is a complete answer for question number two. The wildfires help to regenerate earth and its species. These also release nutrients back into the soil. I will repeat the answer for question number two. The wildfires help to regenerate earth and its species. These also release nutrients back into the soil. Question number three. Mention two different strategies to manage wildfires. Strategy means planning your methods or the way you are going to do any task. You will mention two different strategies to manage wildfires means how you can control uh, wildfires. Okay. Now you are going to write the answer for question number three. One strategy is to limit the fires while the other is about setting small prescribed fires. I will repeat the answer. One strategy is to limit the fires while the other is about setting small prescribed fires. Question number four. Why is it important to be careful around a fire of any kind even in a home? Why is it important to be careful around a fire of any kind even in a home? Of course, fire is something that is not meant to be played. Okay, so you must be careful. It can cause any problem to you. Now here you are going to write the answer. You can write the answer in your own words. It's just a general question. Actually, a fire can cause an irreparable damage to plant, animal and human life. Please write the answer. Actually, a fire can cause an irreparable damage to plant, animal and human life. Now we are going to do our words winning sentences from page number 92 to 94. The first word is atmosphere and the meaning of the atmosphere is the mass of air around earth. The mass of air around earth. The first word is atmosphere with the meaning the mass of air around earth. And here is your sentence. Different types of clouds form in our atmosphere. Different types of clouds form in our atmosphere. Here is a picture to explain the word atmosphere. This is the sky, right? And all the gases, all the gases which are surrounding the boundaries of our earth collectively make the atmosphere. 
as I have written the meaning the mass of air around earth okay that is, is actually atmosphere and all the clouds they are made are formed in the atmosphere number two word is decays number two word is decays it means loses energy or loses vitality or freshness something that withers away or something that dies quickly so it means that is decaying decays means loses energy write the sentence a flower decays quickly if it is not cured properly a flower decays quickly if it is not cured properly here you can see two flowers in this picture both flowers are going to wither away they are going to die they are losing their freshness they are no longer attractive means they are decaying means you can say they are losing energy why they are decaying or losing energy because they haven't been taken properly care our next word is gradual gradual means something that is happening in a slow way that is going to happen in a slow way and not rapidly or quickly then you can say it is a gradual work or a process here's your sentence the plants usually make a gradual development the plants usually make a gradual development here is a picture to explain the word gradual when you will plant any sapling definitely it will turn into an adult plant after two months or three months maybe it will take a year but it is not going to happen within a fortnight or within a day okay so the change from a sapling into an adult plant is a gradual process it will take a significant period of time so that's why you can say the whole process of a plant's development is very much gradual it is going to happen in a slow way okay number four word is impact impact means influence or effect i have written a sentence here a book reading habit can make a good impact on your learning skills a book reading habit can make a good impact on your learning skills here you can see some books which are present on the shelf the meaning of the impact is not books is actually but when you will read these books again and again so definitely you will improve your skills about learning and understanding you will have a more vibrating and more energetic mind your learning skills will be flourishing means you will have a very good impact on your learning skills when you will read all the books impact means effect our next word is noticeably noticeably means obviously or clearly not hidden write the sentence quite noticeably i scored a distinction in my class quite noticeably i scored a distinction in my class here is an illustration to explain the meaning of the word noticeably in one class there are 25 or 30 students so when there was a quiz so you scored the highest marks you stood first in the class it means you were noticeably the topper in the quiz you were prominent and better compared to any other student in the classroom okay number six word is receding receding means moving back something that is going to go back it means it is receding now here is the sentence for the word receding because of pollution the water level is gradually receding because of pollution the water level is gradually receding now here you can see there are a lot of boards but you can't find any prominent water here now what is happening actually the water is going back going back why because of any pollution or because of any environmental hazard so the water level is receding so you can't find any water here 
so you can say the water is receding or moving back or going back number seven word is stability means a state of being balanced a state of being balanced please write the sentence an acrobat maintains stability while doing a stunt an acrobat maintains stability while doing a stunt here is a tight rope walker he is going to show a stunt or his skills so if he doesn't maintain his stability definitely he will fall so if he will maintain his stability he will do his work very well means he will maintain his balance properly and the last word is variations means changes variation means changes now here is the sentence there are many variations in the weather there are many variations in the weather now the pattern of the weather doesn't remain the same throughout the year it keeps changing day by day or month by month sometimes it is a rainy day sometimes it is a snowy day sometimes it is very sunny so there are different shapes or changes or variations in the weather system so far we have done our words meanings and sentences as well as the question answers so you will do all these things again as your homework i hope you will have written all the answers correctly thank you very much see you next time with new lessons till then bye bye stay home stay safe